we've touched down on a dry, brittle surface of recently cooled lava. Once the helicopter leaves, we're on our own for a couple of days. This place has no water, no shelter, no life. Except, I'm told, for a few snakes. But I think it's really going to be worth it. I've come all this way to see one of the most remarkable volcanoes anywhere on the planet. Erta Alley. The name means the smoking mountain to the local Afar people. It's reckoned this volcano has been continuously erupting lava for longer than any other on Earth. Though no one's quite sure because it's only been properly studied for the last 40 years. I've been lucky to see a lot of volcanoes in my time, but I've never seen one that has a permanent lake of molten lava in its crater. But there's another reason why this volcano is very special. And to see that, I need to get down into the crater and see the lava up close. How's that feel? It's a 30 meter vertical drop to reach a wide terrace below. And the lava lake itself is a little further down. I've waited until sunset to take a closer look because the lava is at its most spectacular at night. This is as close as I can safely get. Oh wow, Roy, that is magnificent. I mean, I mean, it's taken us a hell of a journey to get here, but that makes it all worth it. I'm standing on the edge of an active volcano right next to a big pool of molten lava. What makes this lava lake more than just pure spectacle is that it's a window that allows us to look deep into the Earth. And it helps us understand the forces that shape our planet. Just take a look at the motion of the lava lake speeded up. Something intriguing is happening. The movement of the lava follows a very distinctive pattern. It wells up on one side of the crater, forms a dark crust as it cools. Then this crust moves across the surface of the lake, driven by the churning action of the lava below. Finally, the crust sinks back down. As we'll discover, this process of molten rock churning away below the surface affects our entire planet. That's because this lava lake is connected to a gigantic source of heat that lies deep inside the Earth. I think it's fair to say that most of us go about our daily lives completely unaware that underneath our feet, our planet is incredibly hot. I mean, we live on a, a thin skin of cool rock precariously located between the cold freezer of space up there and a red-hot furnace down there. And what a source of power this furnace is. The Earth's heat does far more than just fuel volcanoes. It created the first atmosphere in the oceans. It continually reshapes the planet's surface, builds great mountain ranges and moves entire continents and it created the conditions for life on Earth to begin.